the story of a true American hero on Thursday at Fort Hood. Civilian police sergeant Kimberly Munley shot and wounded suspect Nadal Malik Hassan. One person who worked closely with Sergeant Munley is Detective Sean Appler, and he joins us from Raleigh, North Carolina this morning. Detective, good morning. Good morning. How long did you work with uh, uh, Sergeant Munley? Uh, for about, um, uh, about two years. About two years. So you were partnered up yes, pr pretty much every day. In terms of, of, of cops and partners, how would you describe your relationship with her? Uh, we, we were pretty close. We were friends uh, at work and, uh, um, and off duty as well. And in terms of reliability, how did you look at her? Uh, you know, this is going to sound cheesy in light of the recent events, but, um, you know, there was no question ever that, uh, that Kim would have my back whenever, uh, if, if ever stuff got bad. Right. She's not the biggest person in the world. She's about, what, 5'2"? Yeah, she's a little vertically challenged. A little vertically challenged. Um, but, uh, yeah, but she's, uh, she, she packs a lot of punch in that, in that little frame. Right. Tell me about the incident where you were pulling somebody over on a DUI, a scuffle ensued, and the uh, suspect was trying to get a hold of your gun. Well, we, I, I went to arrest the, that, that person, and, and we, we ended up rolling down a hill, uh, which we're at Wrightsville Beach. There's not a lot of... Uh, Hills at Wrightsville Beach, but apparently I found the one that, that was there. Um, we rolled down the uh, the embankment, and when we got to the bottom, uh, the, the the person ended up on my back. Um, it, it was it was funny because I, I called Kim ahead of time, and and uh, as I was looking over my shoulder, uh, fighting this guy off, I, I saw uh, Kim running up. Uh, she ran up and, and leaped through the air, literally, and jumped on this guy's back. Um, and the only thing I could think as she's jumping through the air, I, I just heard that theme song from, you know, Mighty Mouse, here I come to save the day. And she, and, and she jumped right up on my back, or up, up on his back and was able to get him off me. Right. And um, after, after we got him secured, we realized that he had actually been trying to remove my weapon from its holster. And there's, I, I want to pause for a second because people in police work know you're in a situation like this. If you're scuffling with a suspect, if he gets a hold of your weapon, you could you could be in one world of hurt. She really, Absolutely. literally saved your life that day. Absolutely. Yeah. When you heard the news of how she responded on Thursday, what was your reaction? Well, you know, of course I was surprised just to hear the news that had happened. You know, as far as Fort Hood and and uh, but when I heard that that. It was Kim, and how she responded, uh, no surprise at all. Uh, There's no question I, I knew Kim could do that. Yeah. And of the people that you know who respond to being called a hero, how do you think she's going to want to wear that? Uh, probably in true hero fashion. She, she's very humble. Not going to want a piece of it. There you go. Well, Detective, thank you very much for sharing your story with us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care.